Okay, welcome to the Delgado Squab Ranch. Beautiful evening. Um, so I thought I'd make a, a short video. And this is basically going to be uh, raising young birds 101. Raising older birds is completely different than raising young pigeons. Now these guys here, they are approximately uh, five, five to six months of age. They're starting to lay eggs and reproduce. Now when you start off with young birds, they, uh, they don't really know what they want. See, when we start our nest boxes, we'll put cedar bark in them, we'll put pine needles, a little bit of alfalfa and they'll they'll typically kick it out until they're ready to lay eggs once they're ready to lay eggs I'll come back in here and I'll put stuff back into their nest boxes I'll give them a little more alfalfa and put a I need to put a little flake in every single box right now this pen is starting to uh, lay eggs typically the uh, females will mature quicker than the males so sometimes you end up with unfertilized eggs. Now it's really important when you're starting a new pen with new birds that uh, your floor, see we use shredded cedar bark and what happens with this, the manure is able to fall in between all the bark and then it dries and it's a, it's a pretty healthy, clean floor. Holds the dust down, the manure can dry in between it. Young birds sometimes want to eat poop, which uh, makes them sick. They start doing that, they're pretty much dead. Uh, it causes a lot of disease. Their beaks will start to turn green and that will start to spread throughout your your pin here and, and that's not good it's really important to start with a nice floor uh, if you don't have a good floor to start with you're gonna end up with a lot of dead birds that's that's something that's pretty important something that's gonna absorb the manure and give it a chance to dry okay now our birds all get vaccinated we vaccinate for PMV1, for Salmonella, and Gizzard Worm. So with young birds here, you can see... Let me show you the egg here. Okay, see that's terrible. And that, you can't have an egg rolling around in a wood box. So I'm going to need to come in here and put some more alfalfa in this in this pen which i did last week but they they have a hard time making a good nest sometimes once they have a few babies you'll have manure that's in the nest box and then uh after that they're pretty good so that's something you got to really pay attention to with a new loft is making sure they have nesting products because you can't have eggs rolling around in a wood box. And uh, not sure what else to tell you guys about new birds, other than they are not the same as old birds. They are, they're like teenagers. Once they become sexually mature, and they start reproducing they they kind of completely change they get set in their nest box they find their home and uh it, the whole demeanor of this uh loft right here just will, will change you can see on the other loft those are older birds these guys are young too but yeah, raising young birds is a little more more difficult. Once they get to this stage, you're kind of home free. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys my feeder. My 
feed boxes here. It's getting dark. So my my birds get corn. We have clean corn. We uh, we get all the dust out of it. There's that's that's pretty nice corn. I feed uh, high protein pellets, and our birds get as much feed as they want. And when your birds start laying eggs, it's really important that they have grit. Um, I, I made a video about grit. Here's our, kind of see our grit. They're gonna have good eggs that are not gonna break in the nest box. You're gonna wanna make sure that they have plenty of grit. And uh, in clean water, we drain our waters once a week. I, I do have a, a chemical setup that puts uh, a little bit of chemicals in my water to help keep them clean, keep the bacteria down. If you're not adding something to your water, uh, you should look into that. There's a couple different products. You can put aqua oxy. Um, then you need to drain your waters quite a bit, especially in the summertime. It's super important. Your water has to be clean. You'll have a lot of problems. So we do have chemicals that go in there to help kill the bacteria, keep the lines clean. And we still drain them at a minimum of once a week. If it's hot, we'll, we'll drain them twice a week. But uh, clean water, plenty of feed, grit, and a good floor. Kind of the basics to having a, a healthy flock. Uh, you got any questions, any comments, or any advice, feel free to let me know. I'm sure I forgot a bunch of things and I'll probably add them later. Okay, thank you.